I think essentially what is different about Bags and Strauss and which is really uh, the four cornerstones of our brand, uh, you know, the long history and heritage that companies had, our knowledge in diamonds, you know, we've been in diamonds for such a long time, we think we know diamonds very well, our partnership, our open partnership with Frank Muller, being able to use all their horological capabilities and the home of the brand, which is not Geneva, but London, uh, because we've been in London as a company since 1814. So I think all these four factors put together makes us different to other watch brands. Our history and heritage being in diamonds, and when we decided to um, launch the watch brand, we felt we needed a horological credibility. So we're not claiming to be watchmakers. Our horological credibility is very much Frank Muller because all our movements and cases are all made here at Janto. Uh, so how does it help? It's really the way you look at what is important. For us, when we start looking at new designs, we look at the diamonds and then we build a watch around it. I suppose everyone else does the movement first then sees what they can use as diamonds. I think it sets a kind of Firstly, an aspiration, uh, uh, a positioning for the brand where we can communicate what we stand for. Again, you know, these fine diamonds, these uh, very special cuts, and even in the round diamonds, we use ideal cut diamonds, which are hearts and arrows, and then the fine horological movements that we use. And these are not only limited to the high end, they, they go right down to our regular collection. We don't have a big production. We're, we're producing less than a thousand watches a year, 750 to 800. So um, the, the quality of craftsmanship remains throughout. Well, I want to, to highlight this um, very special piece. This is the, the Barclay Emperor Prince uh, with a uh, skeleton uh, tourbillon movement. The case has been set with invisibly set baguette diamonds and here when we made the bridge I wanted to set diamonds on the bridge as well but as you know the material available on the bridge is rather limited so what we did was we made two bridges and connected the bridges so we had diamonds set on the front and also on the back of the bridge. The diamonds set on the bridge are baguette cut diamonds and the bridge is held to the case by tapered baguettes. Um, and here at 12 o'clock we have a diamond cut set into the, into the bridge. You will see the tourbillon uh, wheel has been decorated with the arrows that you see in the hearts and arrows mm. motif when you look at diamonds. Another tourbillon movement we call our meeting of the masters, the meeting of the master of complication and the master of diamonds. Again, um, a baguette set, invisibly set case, but a different tourbillon movement. Um, it's an automatic tourbillon with the rotor decorated with the London skyline with diamonds set in the back. And um, on the dial, we've used a, a three-quarter dial set with diamonds in the middle, mother of the pearl on the outside, with the hour markers in sapphire. Um, again, you see the arrows and the heart motif on the tourbillon. So these, these are really what we call the meeting of the masters. And then this piece, the diamond heart, the Renaissance diamond heart piece, really best illustrates what we're good at in cutting diamonds. We have here 36 heart-shaped diamonds cut identically to be set onto this bezel. And what is interesting is the case of the watch is a, is a typical watch case, but the bezel is a jewelry setting with a prong setting so you get the most brilliance out of the heart shapes set into the case of the watch. And this is a mechanical movement decorated at the back uh, with a dial that has got a mother of pearl exterior with rubies set on 12, 3, 6, 9 and the motif of the heart shapes into, uh, engraved into the uh, mother of pearl dial. And then this is 
something which we came out this year, which is a fun dial. This, the way we've set the diamonds and other colored stones on the dial will um, illustrate, will look differently every time we manage, we, we move the, the watch. As you can see on this particular one, we have the Union Jack and as you flick over, you see the Japanese flag. This is what we call our mystery dial. Again, a playful um, uh, theme on our expertise of diamonds and colored stones. There's no trickery, it's the way the diamonds are set. You were talking earlier about our regular collection. And uh, I think this collection, which is the Miss Victoria, um, which we launched uh, recently and has been a major success in Japan, best again illustrates how the craftsmanship and the skills used in making these fine pieces translate into a, a more affordable luxury. Uh, these piece, uh, this Miss Victoria, is set with uh, round brilliant diamonds on the, on, the, on the bezel and the case of the, of the watch with these heart shape motifs on a 12 and 6 o'clock and also used on the buckle of the watch. And this we've done in different colors, different color straps, different color dials, all mother of pearl. And then this is the Lady Victoria, which is um, a higher and a continuation of the heart shape motif to, to, uh, to make the entire bracelet. I think we are focusing, uh, as I said, in the two areas, very much the high end, the unique pieces. Uh, we don't have uh, a large production, but we, we, we try and be creative, again, not only on the higher side, but also on a, a more commercial uh, collection, always using diamonds and uh, gemstones.